Good morning. Welcome to A Little Bit of Hope. It is a beautiful day as God has created it and invited us to be a part of it. This, is, <clears throat> this morning, let's look at Psalm 78. Listen, my people, to my teaching. Tilt your ears towards the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a proverb. I will declare riddles from days gone by, ones that we've heard and learned about, ones that our ancestors told us. We won't hide from their descendants. We'll tell the next generation all about the praise due the Lord and his strength, the wondrous works God has done. He established a law of Jacob and set up instruction for Israel, ordered our ancestors to teach them to to their children's, to their children, excuse me. This is so that the next generation and children not yet born will know these things and so they can rise up and tell their children to put their hope in God, never forgetting God's deeds, but keeping God's commandments and so that they won't become like their ancestors, a rebellious, stubborn generation a generation whose heart wasn't set firm and whose spirit wasn't faithful to God. Wow. That's a that's a kind of a shocking thought to be known as that generation whose uh, heart wasn't set firm and whose spirit wasn't faithful to God. That's uh, that's a solid reminder during Advent, during this time of what our priorities are. Maybe we need to reassess them and uh, to look through Scripture, realign maybe our thought process with Scripture itself. Listen, my people, to my teaching. Tilt your ears towards the words of my mouth. It's very profound when you think about it. Because to do that, to listen, to hear, to take at heart God's teaching, sometimes that requires us to slow down. Sometimes that requires us to be intentional about looking through uh Scripture, meditating, uh, celebrating, in a way, <clears throat> what's been said, such as the covenants, uh, in our words and our actions and our understanding of our relationship with God. And as far as the, the crux of it, to me, keeping God's commandments so that they won't become like their ancestors. Well, not the ones that are labeled here as rebellious, stubborn generation, or a generation whose heart wasn't set firm. I would sure like to be that generation that has shared with the next generation how God is, has moved the world, parting of the Red Sea, the burning bush, the various ways that God has moved, and especially through Jesus Christ, to change us, in a sense, from our humanness to holiness. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank and praise you for this beautiful day you've given to us and for this time together and we ask that you do move our hearts help us to center on you help this time of advent be a time where we learn and we grow and we understand you even more the lord bless us and care for us in this time of study help us to explore these scriptures to the utmost and take hold of them. 
so we may celebrate the coming of your Lord Jesus Christ and so that we may celebrate the second coming of Jesus Christ as well. Help us to be found faithful, Lord, in these times. We lift to you, Lord, Brett Cook and his healing, Carrie and the family. Please care for them as well. Lay your hands upon uh, Michael as he is in ICU. And Lord, he needs your healing touch. And Mary Beth certainly needs your care as well. His wife, we lift to you. Lord, Pastor Anthony and his family, and we grieve, Lord. And we grieve with others who have lost loved ones. Lord, such a difficult time to lose someone you've loved. Not that any time is easy, but we especially lift to you, Lord, all those that are that are struggling. Those that are struggling with mental illness or emotional difficulties. Those that are struggling because of, well, family situations. We lift to you, Lord, those who are also struggling with financial, with jobs, with whatever standing in their way. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we lift up our church, Lord, our leaders and our congregation and our finances that we may be on and stay on track with you. We lift to you, Lord, the joy of this Advent season and a calling for a renewal and a refreshment. <clears throat> Guide us this day for your honor and for your glory. For we lift all this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. All my friends, special good morning to you. It is great to see you up online this morning. And I certainly hope we can share more time together as we continue to go through the Psalms. So, until we see each other again, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be blessed and be a blessing to others. Share a kind word, a random act of kindness. Pray deeply for your neighbor, those that you know and don't know. For that, Lord knows. There are so many people that are struggling with illness, some with depression, that God can heal if we lift them up. Just a thought for this day. So my friends, any comments, concerns, please place them in the comment section below. And until we see each other again, Truly, may you be blessed and be a blessing to others. May you pass along to the next generation all that they need to understand our Lord and Savior. So, till we see each other again, bye for now. God bless you.